Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd appreciate it, and I update daily. If you like this watch, you can buy it on thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. In 2015, Zenith went big and bronze, taking the essential shape of its 2012 Montre d'Alonef Type 20 and updating the vent to a 45mm bronze case. This is a timepiece that is, for all intents and purposes, a direct rival for stance and presence to IWC's legendary big pilot. That said, this might be a more wearable and practical watch in a couple of respects. First, let's start with my wrist size. My wrist is 16 centimeters circumference, and I can't wear the big pilot to any degree of satisfaction or comfort. This watch is only one millimeter smaller in diameter at 45 millimeters in diameter, and yet much more comfortable and wearable. The timepiece is not thick. It's only 14.3 millimeters, which is remarkably slim for a thing this broad. The IWC, it should be mentioned, is just over 16 millimeters. I'll also say that lug to lug, the watch is more compact than the IWC. 54 millimeters lug to lug compared to just over 57 for the IWC. You're going to find that this watch just feels more comfortable. And part of that's not just down to the outright dimensions. I think you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters. It would look oversized, but it would be comfortable and it would fit, it would sit, it would stay planted. A big part of the ergonomics, again, not the size, but the shape of the lugs, short, tightly downturned, and very minimalist. With the look of an old school welded lug converted pocket watch from the early days of aviation. Now the timepiece does have very spare lugs as you can see. They're basically just there to sling the strap around your wrist which is why you can easily pull the strap straight down. It doesn't have any fight, any flare. It moves unimpeded. And you'll also note that the lugs themselves aren't really a factor in the fit. The watch essentially wears as a 45 millimeter round cushion case on your wrist. The strap, however, is impressive. As you can see, a sheer side, very thick. It's a nubuck leather, so calfskin, but with a wonderful oily nubuck texture. It feels natural, supple, smooth, and has a deep, rich appearance to it that a uh, more conventionally tanned leather would lack, whereas most leathers are simply shiny. This one has a wonderful complexity to it and a feel that's almost like suede. You can also note that the traditional contrasting aviator stitch truly pops against that nubuck leather base. There is a titanium oversized trapezoidal pin buckle, easy to adjust on the fly, and of course Zenith branded. And then you see the underside of the watch also in titanium. You can see the famed Louis Blériot monoplane, which the French aviation pioneer flew across the English Channel with a Zenith cockpit instrument on hand for the occasion. And you will note that the case back is incredibly complex and ornate. Now the good news is it is hypoallergenic titanium that helps to reduce the total mass of the watch. So it's part of the ergonomic equation. The crown, because I measured, is larger than the crown on the IWC Big Pilot. It measures 12.2 millimeters in diameter, an absolute monster. You'll also find that the case itself is handsome but minimalist. On the side, you can see just like a vintage aviation timepiece, a bolted individual numbering plaque, and then a sort of natural, lightly satin-grained bronze that has already begun to take on a little bit of a patina of age on this watch as it darkens with time. We can get a little bit closer now, change the focus, give ourselves a bit more aperture. I always like to get closer to the watch once it's off the wrist. Let me give you one more wrist shot from a wide angle so you can truly see it in profile. There you go. If you like the big watch style, this is right up your alley and it'll fit like a charm. The dial of the watch is more nuanced than I expect. First, because it features whole blocks of Luminova. They've been cut into the shape of numerals and a wonderful vintage font. These Arabic numerals actually consist of big blocks of solid material that is also luminescent. So there's going to be a phenomenal loom shot. The dial itself has a gray matte base with a slight rusticated pebbly grained texture. And then you can see that there's a railroad track outboard for tracing the seconds of the enormous counterweighted seconds hand, as well as for more accurately reading the giant cathedral style minutes hand. Small Arabic numerals outboard of each of the hours. You'll note that the hands are a vintage aviator style segmented cathedral design. And then Montre de Lonef, type 20 or type vent to use the original 
French of the manufacturer from Le Loc, Switzerland, applied Zenith Star and underneath the case back controlled by that 12 plus millimeter crown, Zenith Elite Manufacturer Caliber 679. 26 joules automatic winding, 50 to 55 hour power reserve, screw down crown, 100 meter water resistance, and there is a hacking or stop seconds function to this watch, so if you do want to synchronize it precisely against a reference time, you can do that. Now, you're not going to want to take it in the water on this strap, but the good news is you could easily do so because the watch with the screw down crown and 100 meter water resistance rating is equally appropriate for swimming as it is for flying. And of course, I should mention one last feature that I overlooked, which is the wonderful rubber inlays that Zenith places beneath its straps. Not only does this make for a very comfortable watch, but it also helps to isolate the strap itself from the oils, heat, moisture, sweat, grit of the wrist for strap longevity. You can see this Pilot Extra Special in bronze and make it yours on the watch box. And we're back with the Zenith Pilot Type 20 in bronze. By night, however, less bronze than green. This is a robustly luminescent watch that could almost light your way down a dark passage. I have to say the watch, as I mentioned, suitable for flying, suitable for swimming, but also thanks to its extraordinary at-a-glance legibility in any light, day or night, a superb driver's watch. So if, like many Zenith enthusiasts, you prefer engines of all sizes, this is an ideal companion for a Sunday drive.